We're setting up an experiment with the help of ex-CIA investigator Barry McManus. We're putting four kids between the ages of four and seven smack in front of this very tempting chocolate cake and promising them a reward if they don't eat or touch the cake. And I will be back. Now we're going to leave them alone with the cake for 15 long minutes. Don't eat the cake. Or at least they think they're alone. Our cameras were secretly rolling, and we know that not all of them were able to resist the cake. Now we're sending Barry back in to question the children. In my world, I, I deal with criminals, I deal with hardened criminals, I deal with double agents, I deal with terrorists. And can he extract any confessions from this tough group? Barry will ask each of the kids if they touched the cake. Remember, we know they aren't all innocent. Play along and try to figure out which kids are lying. Ready? You did not touch, right? You did not smell. You did not think about taking a piece of cake, right? He's saying he didn't have any cake. But is he lying? There's a piece missing, because I counted, I counted all the pieces before I left. What? Another denial. You think he's telling the truth? Did you taste any of the cake? Mm -hmm. Not not all? Not even a taste? Not even a touch? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you believe her? Did you eat a piece of the cake? I don't really eat chocolate. He says he doesn't like chocolate. What do you think? All four kids told us they didn't eat or touch the cake. Mm -mm. But our camera saw everything. Which kids do you think are lying? Got your answer? Now, let's check the tape. He says he didn't touch the cake. Looks like he's eating something. Here was another denial. We have evidence to the contrary. What about this little angel? Uh-oh. Looks like she's tempted, but she didn't take the bait. He said he doesn't really eat chocolate. Tidying up the crime scene? It turns out that three of the four kids were lying. Does that surprise you? In similar controlled experiments, 76% did what they weren't supposed to, and 75% of them lied about it afterwards. Lying is a sign of early childhood cognitive development. The little white lies sort of start when children are very young, sometimes two years old, three years old, four years old, and it just starts to evolve as they get older and older. I didn't touch it. As you get into the four and the five and the six and the seven, I saw the sophistication. Several little kids that I thought were just fantastic trying to distract me, and I had to sort of refocus back to the subject at hand. I'm doing something with my tongue like, like this. But kids who lie aren't necessarily on the path to a dishonest life. Lying at an early age shows cognitive development, and some studies show they might even turn out to be more successful as adults. What? 